So let's try this first um, significant digits or significant figures problem. So, uh, well, tell how many significant uh, figures there are in each of these numbers. Um, so, um, remember, you, zeros are the things that uh, get people confused, of course. Um, if you remember, if you've got a decimal point in your number, uh, like this one does here, A does, 3.400, then that means all of the zeros after the first non-zero number are significant. So you see here we've got two non-zeros, which definitely are significant, and of course we've got two zeros after the decimal place, so that means they're significant too. So how many significant digits do we got? Four. Um, captive zeros um, are the same thing, uh, they're significant. Why? Because they're two, in between two non-zero digits. Okay, so um, we've got a three and a four, which are definitely significant, and two zeros, which are quote-unquote captive, so they are significant. So we've got four, a total of four significant digits. And then remember the rules with trailing zeros. Okay, so this number 300 here is actually um, only got one significant digit. Why? Because there's no decimal point in this, so one, right? So remember, trailing zeros are only significant if there's a decimal point in that number. If uh, there's not a decimal point in that number, so in other words, if we did something like this, 300 decimal point, that would actually have three significant digits. So make sure you realize the difference between these. Okay? So sometimes you can get tricked pretty easily. So we'll try another one of these and um, see if you guys get it. Hopefully you do.